welcome to the part two where we gonna take care of network shares so what we gonna need is basically some place for entire system to store the data and these data to be presented via network to your uh, smart TV for example so what we gonna do as you know um, I have a banana pie here with uh, open media vault installed with all the other components that we installed on the previous video um, and now we are gonna make use of this uh, spinning hard drive that I have attached to the banana pie so in order for this to be useful for us um, well I'm not gonna wipe it as I know it's already wiped um, we have to first find out well to make sure that our drive is recognizable and this one is then we need to create a file system on it so as you see there are only two file systems here and they are both uh, SD cards um, like the parts of the SD cards that how the system kind of divided the SD cards um, during the installation so we're gonna go and create we're gonna select device and the only device I have is the spinning drive uh, we're gonna give it a label as for example LDS um, I'm gonna use a uh, file system x fat 4 and we're gonna just do that it's gonna take some time um, well, it's actually pretty quick no it has to sort of format it it's gonna take it a while so I just gonna pause the video and we'll be back when this is done and the formatting is done completed so I'm gonna close that um, so we have our SDA uh, spinning drive here so now we're just gonna mount it there we go and let's apply that yes it's gonna be quick There we go, it's all online. It has a file system. Excellent. Um, so now we're just going to create a user. I'm not going to add the user here. And we're going to call it, let's say, LDS as well. Mm, email something. So LDS at LDS.com. My keyboard seems to be a different uh, region here. Okay, password, so something which you're gonna remember. The same here. I'm not gonna check, change anything there. Groups, I'm gonna leave it as this. Oh, I'm just gonna set to admin. I'll save it, whatever. Um, public case, I'm not going to do anything here, so grant, grant, and save it. Okay, that's our uh, user. And we're again, going to apply that. A few seconds, the system is not the fastest one. There we go. Uh, so we have um, user. So now we're going to create shares on our file system that we created before. So we're just going to create two shares. So first it's going to be, let's say, TV, a place where we're going to store our TV series. And we're going to, let's say, use to admin read write permissions, user read write permissions, and auto read only and nothing else in here so save that and then we're gonna add another one and we're gonna put there as movies and we're gonna select the same place where it's gonna be stored the same sort of a permission so the second last here and save that there we go and we're gonna apply that also so movies it's where sonar is going to keep the data tv is where the um, other way around uh, sonar is going to keep the data over here in tv 
and radar it's going to keep the data over there when they are getting downloaded um, from the network from the internet okay um so we have shares now we just gonna enable samba share so just gonna do that and we're gonna save this shares we're gonna add shares and we created two shares before so we're gonna add this and I'm not gonna change anything else in here only what I'm gonna do is just add so that's one share and we're gonna add another share Uh, what did I? Okay, TV. So now it's movies. Excellent. We're gonna go back to users. Ah, okay. I'm running, looking at the places, privileges, and that's where we gonna go and put read and write to these two shares and apply these settings and now just to conclude that the shares are working uh, we're just gonna go to um, here um, we have a network uh, we can see ourselves as you can see it's a virtual box um, system and my other desktop um, so we don't see any shares in here and they normally supposed to be seen here but well uh, maybe there is some another thing that you have to click to make them visible um, just as a matter uh, in fact we're gonna uh, hard code it uh, our share here so uh, 192 168 100 100 150 uh, too much numbers there mm, TV there we go we can create something here new folder um, maybe we can just copy something uh, from there so let's go pictures pictures that I show you earlier so uh, I'm gonna copy them and we can uh, oh, there you go now, now they are here so we're gonna paste something here and we're gonna paste something here that's something which we're gonna look at later on so there you go there you have a share you can access a share uh, it might ask you for username and passwords uh, if you choose the different permissions, just remember what you set up and uh, off we go. So, thank you for watching this short episode. Uh, in section number three, we're going to start configuring all of these guys together to use that share that we just created so we can just enjoy having, you know, fresh um, serials. Um, downloaded directly to our network drive and seen by the whatever player that you have if it's Kodi or is that your smart TV Apple TV doesn't really matter uh, it should work with all of them the same way okay thank you so much thank you for watching and uh, see you next time